Hello, this is a video on this snub cuboctahedron. This is one of the 13 Archimedean solids. In this video series, I'm showing how the Archimedean solids can be derived from the platonic solids. In this schematic, we have the five platonic solids across the top. Five of the Archimedean solids can be found by truncation, two more by rectification, two more by expansion, and two more by snubification. This is the process I'd like to look at in this video. If you snubify the cube and snubify the octahedron, you get the snub cube octahedron. Here we have the snub cube octahedron, and you can see that it is formed with equilateral triangles and squares. It does turn out that for the snub cube octahedron, there is a left-handed version and a right-handed version. I'm not going to be going into detail on that in this video. I leave that for you to investigate. To show you what it means to snubify, I'm going to use the website Truncate Expand Snubify. And let's scroll down to, first of all, expansion. Let me review what it means to expand something. Here's the cube. And when I expand the cube, what happens are the edges pull apart. The edges pull apart and they're replaced with squares. In the case of snubification, let me scroll down to that. We're also going to be pulling apart the edges, but this time Instead of pulling apart the edges and replacing it with a rectangle, I'm going to be pulling apart the edges here, and there's going to be a diagonal put in here, forming two triangles. Also, there's a twisting that occurs here with these original square faces. So this is snubification, and you'll notice that we get this snub cube octahedron. The original square faces remain as original square faces. I get triangles between the edges, and notice what happens to a vertex. Since the original vertex in the cube is degree 3, when the vertex pulls apart, we're also going to get triangles. Now let's go ahead and snubify the octahedron, and we'll see that we get the same shape. Here's the original octahedron made of eight triangles. And when we snubify this, I get the same shape. This time, the square is provided by the original vertex being pulled apart. Now let's an analyze the snub cube octahedron. First of all, realize that this is called, it could have been called a snub cube or it could have been called a snub octahedron, but for fairness we call it the snub cube octahedron. On the left we have the original cube and all the data associated with the cube. And on the right hand side we have the snub cube octahedron. Our goal is to figure out these answers. It's useful to consider three types of faces on the right-hand side. The first type of face, type 1, would be the faces that result from the original faces. This square remains as a square, so N1 will be 4. The second type of face are those faces that come from pulling the edges apart. When this edge gets pulled apart, it turns into two equilateral triangles. And finally, type 3, are the faces in this snub cube octahedron that are formed when the vertex pulls apart. When this vertex pulls apart, we get a triangle. Notice that the type 2 faces and the type 3 faces are both going to be triangles, but in the figure, some of them are, the type 2 are colored yellow, and type 3 is colored blue. If you would like to analyze the snubification of the cube, pause the video now. If you would rather analyze the snubification of the octahedron, pause the video now. I hope you enjoy studying the properties of the Archimedean solids.